So, um, I didn't make it to nursing school. The first time I applied to a program was Texas Tech, and if you saw my recent my last video, um, I went over that. How I didn't make it in, but that program's hard to get into anyways. They only accept 65 students out of 400 that apply, so that one's probably, that's basically almost impossible to get into unless you're like a genius or something. This program that I applied to was uh, University of Texas at El Paso. Honestly, the only reason why I think I didn't get in was because I missed, uh, I didn't miss, I'm still missing, well, I am missing three courses, but those are the courses that I'm taking right now, this fall semester. So technically, if you really look at it, my application is considered incomplete because I don't have those three classes, I don't have grades for those three classes yet. I guess it's not that bad, um, I can always reapply again in December. Uh, the application opens December 1st for those students who, are, who live in El Paso and are applying to uh, UTEP nursing. The um, application opens December 1st and closes on January 31st. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna wait into, I'm gonna hold off to see if I can um, apply again in, in December to see if I can uh, get in for the summer. And then with uh, a community college, El Paso Community College, their application opens in June for the fall semester. So that's what I'm uh, looking to apply to do. I'm gonna apply to Paso Community College, Midland College, I'm applying, I'm gonna apply everywhere so I can at least try to make a program. And so what happened was yesterday I woke up and I knew that the ranking was gonna take place in the mornings and they were gonna send out emails in the afternoons. And I remember sitting in my math class and it was like 11.30, I got out of my speech class early. So I was sitting in front of my math class and I saw a girl on Twitter had posted that she made the program. But it was 11.30 a.m. and they said that um, the email that we received said that uh, selection emails were gonna be sent out in the afternoon. So I didn't know if it was true or not. I just thought, oh, maybe she's bluffing, but I guess maybe she wasn't bluffing and they sent out the, the emails early. By that time, I, pr I already knew I didn't get in because if they sent out the emails all at once, then everybody who got in should have gotten in all at once. And I thought, and everybody's trying to show me like, oh, they're probably just going um, alphabetical order since my last name starts with M. I'm like, I'm always at the bottom of the list for everything, so if, if things are going in alphabetical order. I try not to let it get to me, but I was very anxious all day and it was very stressful. It was a very stressful day yesterday, basically. I'm still gonna try again. I'm gonna, I, I'm, I still wanna be a nurse. It's literally all I know. I don't know how to, I don't know, I don't wanna do anything else. I want to be a nurse. Right now, working as a CNA, I'm, I'm good at it. I love the fact that I get to care for patients and I get to, um, see them improve and get better and I know there's people and there I know there's gonna be some people who are saying like oh you're so good at being a CNA and you hear you are you can't make a nursing program and you know like it gets me thinking what happens when I do make a nursing program and if I have such a hard time getting into a program and then I finally do end up making it into the program what happens when I'm in the program like that that part scares me uh, like what if I just completely don't do well in those classes, which really sucks. <laughs> um, so that's that's one of my that's one of my um, one of the things that makes me nervous. It's one of my fears is making a program and flunking out. So you only get one shot at nursing school, and if you flunk out, that's it. You're you're out. You can't get you can, you can apply and you can start all over again. I think, but. I think once you fail twice, you can't apply to that program again. I don't know. I really thought this was going to be different. I thought I was going to already now, by now, be super excited. And I even told my friends, I'm either going to go to bed super happy or super upset. And I'm not upset that I'm upset that a fact of the fact like, yeah, I didn't make nursing school a big deal. I'm, I'm, I'm upset at the fact that I did not necessarily thought that I was going to get in, but that I did enough to get in. My GPA right now is a 3.04, according to the community college. And since I really haven't established a GPA with the university until grades come out this December, those glasses are considered as um, incomplete because I'm not finished with the semester yet. And although I'm doing okay, I'm real, I really am shooting for all A's this semester because they're simple classes. Like I said, it's speech, math, and nutrition. But, you know, school is just... School is hard sometimes, and um, I know there's a lot of people out there who they gave up on uh, trying to make uh, the nursing programs or other programs that they wanted to try to get into, and they're doing something completely different. And I notice that sometimes, yeah, it's changes for the better. I don't, I really don't want to do anything else. <laughs> and I know school is very hard, and school is 
very important and I don't want to stop going to school. So that's what, and then somebody even brought it up to me like, well, why don't you just take a break from school? Like take a semester off. And I know that if I take a semester off, I'm going to be so, I'm going to be lost. I'm not going to know when the deadline is, when registration opens. I'm not going to, you know, and I don't want to fall into that little, that category like, oh, he's a, he, he took a break from school. I don't want to, I want to keep going to school. I'm tired. <laughs> though. I'm so tired. I This is a fight that I need to continue to do. And for me, school was never easy. School for me was hard growing up. Uh, when I was in third grade, I was diagnosed with ADHD and I was put on medication. It was called Concerta. Either it was Concerta or Focalin, I'm not sure. Um, it was one of those two meds and I was on it for years from third grade up until I started high school and I was uh, taking resource classes. I took a resource class my freshman year, but I was doing super well in that class that they were able to bump me up to a regular ed class. Uh, that's, I was, I did well. I performed well in school. My see my, during my high school years, could have done a little bit better. Right now in college, I could have been doing so much better. I could have actually tried harder and I, and that's the thing, when you get diagnosed with ADHD, all of a sudden everybody thinks you can't do it. I remember someone telling me like, oh, like I remember telling somebody, oh, I want to be a nurse. And them looking at me like saying, are you sure? Like, are you sure you can do that? Like, look, it's your grades. And I just remember looking at them like, why shouldn't I be able to do it? Like, just because I have, just because I was diagnosed with something that I don't even think is true anymore. Like, yeah, we, I get hyper um, and... I get, I get, I overexcite over things, but I don't think that's part of a disorder. I think that's part of like a, a natural growing up instinct. And there are occasions where I do get distracted easily. For example, if there's uh, a lot of loud noises, uh, if there's a lot of noises in the, like, you know, the area that I'm in, uh, for example, like the library, I don't know what it is. I cannot study at the library. Um, and I know the library is supposed to be quiet and it's a quiet thing, but it's uh, not like it's too quiet. Like, so with, with me and things, it can't be too quiet and it can't be too loud. So that's why I like um, studying here at home where I can uh, listen to uh, like ASMR and study and sit here in front of my desk and like the car is passing by. I have this grand window um, that gives me the natural lighting. I just really want to be a nurse. I was so excited. I thought I was gonna get in an, uh, an acceptance email yesterday and it was asking if they uh, sent out um, like emails that decline students and they don't. So basically, if you didn't get an email, you didn't get in. And now I'm crying again. This is the second time that I don't get into a program. And it really sucks. But it's okay, I, I rescheduled um, some classes. So I rescheduled pharmacology, anatomy two, and psychology. And two of those classes um, are for the university for ranking purposes and pharmacology is for um, the community college. And the, so um, I got all B's in those classes. So I need to try to get all A's so I can raise my GPA. These next few semesters are just for me to raise my GPA so that I can rank into a program. And um, this is a fight that I've never, I'm not gonna give up. Um, I've quit a lot of stuff in my lifetime and this is something that I'm not gonna give up on. We'll see how this plays out in the end. All right, enough crying, enough sadness and depression. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you guys next time.